Well, g'day everyone. Hopefully my head's not cut off in the camera. So, book got released yesterday. 29 pages of glory. Contents. How are we going with the camera? That's the contents page. So, done a little bit differently to the normal, which is, I don't know. I've read a few guides and they haven't been very good. So I pretty much just tried to design this one for myself, for the things that I wanted to know, which I guess in turn should work for everyone else because, uh, yeah, been doing this for a while. Anyway, that's about that. But where are we? We've got a couple at the top of the lines. Um, had a bit of a micronutrient issue down here, which seems to have resolved itself. I am pretty sure it was copper. My agronomist decided that copper levels were fine and just spray a bit. Spray a bit of fungicide. You'll be right, mate. No, no, that hasn't gone well. I didn't actually spray fungicide because I don't really want to spray fungicide on hops if I don't actually have to. Um, anyway, I put a little bit of copper through the drippers and it has resolved itself. So, not looking too bad. I have pushed stuff back pretty late. So, Columbus, I uh, still haven't finished stringing. He's got one more line here to do. But hopefully this will work in terms of staggering out our harvest, which means my life will be a lot easier come harvest time. Quite happy with all the clover down through the rows. Um, some of the early Columbus, as you can see here, is side shooting with burrs already. Um, maybe a little bit of early stuff for myself. Oh, Strine Golding. Or whatever it is. Not looking too bad this year. Hasn't really got any extra fertilizer, so it's obviously just getting a bit of runoff, but some of it looks really happy, some of it doesn't look that happy. But yeah, I just let these early ones go for a bit of bug habitat. I'll figure it out pretty soon. Um how are we looking in the dwarf yard? I mulched this super, super late, three weeks ago. So, now the Saz is looking really happy. Oh, that's good, that's just happened today, or the last couple of days, so. We'll go straight past feeler shoot stage on this stuff, and it'll start climbing. Oh, stuff got mowed yesterday. Yeah, that's looking a bit happier than it was last year. Starting to move now. I've got to string this lot too. Sheep busted in last year and destroyed it all. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Definitely a lot happier once I put the drippers in. Um, that's about it for me, I reckon. Well, I haven't really looked at the weather this week because it's we had seven degrees here last night. Which still isn't ideal. Should be a fair bit warmer than that. But what can you do? Target. Looking really happy this year. This is the English stuff. I likes a fair bit more um, magnesium and lime. So they got a big dose this year. Then late cut back. Oh, so yeah, no, it's looking good for a staggered harvest anyway. Dare say, um, this early stuff here will be good to go soon. Um, these are laterals here. And yeah, a couple of people asked me this week if we were training them. No, you just let them hang down. They will grow burrs off them, which will grow hops flowers, so. Yep, not looking too bad. Pretty happy with development. Side shoots starting to work out from the bottom, which is what they do. And um, yeah, they essentially look like big Christmas trees when they're all at their peak. Sort of very big triangly shaped 
dangly things. Yep, anyway, um, i got a bunch of stuff to do. I'm going to go on steaks and tomatoes and stuff, so can't keep waffling on forever. Anyway, um, yeah, grab the book if you're interested. It really should help a whole lot of people just get their heads around what hops needs and what they don't need. Um, I made a very big effort in the book to go through all of the problems that people have had on hop heads for like four or five years. Common problems that I see every year that people do to hops and mess them up. So the book is essentially designed to stop people messing their hops up. Anyway, um, cheers for watching. And um, yeah, I'll be around a bit this afternoon. I didn't even realize it was Friday. That's uh, how quickly my week's gone. I looked at the calendar and went, what? Anyway, school holidays and all, all that fun. So yeah. Cheers, post up your hops Friday. Um, let me see how you're all going. And um, yeah, if anyone's super worried now, just grab the book and uh, have a read. 12,500 words of info that I wrote because I repeat myself a lot. So there you go. Hopefully the book will stop me having to repeat myself so much. That is the general plan. Anyway, it's $6.99 at the moment. It's not a big... Uh, expense for anyone considering you can buy beer that costs more than seven dollars for one can so yeah grab a beer grab a six pack and the book and have a read cheers everyone take it easy